My name is Rose Klukas. I'm the Economic Development Officer for the District of Kitimat. I was born and raised here in Kitimat. My parents came in 1954. Kitimat is a marvel of nature and industry. What we mean by that is that we are pioneering a new way of living. Kitimat offers the ability to live a balanced life. You can have a career, you can raise a family, but it's also a place where we choose to live because of the nature around us. And at the end of the day, we all have those goals in mind. We want to have jobs, but we want to protect the environment. We're all concerned for our children and the future of the community. And we all want to coexist as neighbours. One of the strongest uh, per capita in Canada for you know, a financial base for work for workers. And we have a great industrial site here, which provides a lot of work for people. I really piggybacked off that and chose this area and the lifestyle of being a firefighter. Atmosphere-wise and environmental-wise, we live in a very, really green place. Summer is so amazing. Um, hiking and biking and running, paddling or kayaking. Then winter comes, it's also great, actually almost better, with skiing, cross-country, snowshoeing, hiking. It's year-round. I very much enjoyed my work and of course I very much enjoyed my play over the years too. And uh, play includes uh, skiing, cross-country skiing primarily in the winter, but also backcountry snowshoeing. Occasionally I get a chance to get down Douglas Channel. For the short lives that we do live, it's important that we find that niche of something that challenges us and satisfies our own way of being. For me, it's simple, really. I mean, it's use it or lose it, right? And I happen to have a lot of zest for life. So the lit trails are my favorite because I do a lot of night skiing. It fits into my lifestyle where once I finished up dinner and done the dishes and stuff, I can get up here around 8 o'clock at night, come out and ski for an hour. And it just makes for an awesome evening. It's not a matter of a personal best day. Uh, every day that we go down and if the weather's good and the kids have a great time, that's a great day. If the grandkids are there, generally we'll probably go either to Fish Trap or to Sioux Channel. Go down and fish for a while, then we're going to have time to go crawl ashore and do what we got to do. And we'll stop at Wawani on the way back, Wawani Hot Springs, because they all want to go have a dip, jump in the ocean, have a dip again, and then we're on our way home. Yeah, you spend a lot less time getting to and from whatever you're doing in a place like this. You could also cross country ski from the backyard down into Strawberry Meadows or Snowshoe or whatever. We did end up with a little modem of comfort in the camper with a heater. You could go four season camping, tobogganing out at Lake House Lake in the middle of winter and don't have to come home. And the access to the outdoors is, is very easy. You don't have to spend two hours to drive to a lake to go fishing. So many of my friends have extra space. There are houses with dark rooms, studios, beautiful kitchens, big picture windows. That was one of the first things on the house plan was I wanted huge windows because I want to enjoy outside. And probably for the first 10 years, I didn't have curtains on the windows, nothing. I didn't need them. I've always loved horses. I don't know, I think it's in one's genes. You're born with that passion. First thing that was on my bucket list was I had to go touch, smell, ride a horse, anything. It's not unusual to see hobby farms, huge landscaped gardens. People are more creative with the extra space. You, you know, it, photographs are everywhere. Theoretically, you should be able to go out in your backyard and spend a lifetime photographing in your backyard. It wasn't just golf or curling, it was a community project that they took on. It was a lot of hard work, but you took a lot of pride in what you were doing and you could actually see that, that what you were doing, you were going to eventually get something out of it. And this is where we come as a family to ski and they are all good skiers. And they're also learning how to volunteer, which means the world runs because of volunteers. You should probably come out and try it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I also coach on, on Saturdays. I coach the kids and sometimes I'll go in races for fun. I was born and raised here and now I'm raising my own children in this town. I look forward to the opportunities that exist here 
for them and for other people. If you're interested in what opportunities might be here for you, please feel free to call me.